Seven grams, soul talk. And still we rise. I was just um, vibing and um, listening to a beautiful lecture. You can go to this website, um, Understanding, Seven Beaumont. Um, he goes in about uh, Mercury and just uh, breaks it down. And I like how, um, I like, you know, we gotta get high level um, conversations. So it gotta be high level um, lectures. You can go to this website and it's called Understanding. Um, I'm gonna play a little snippet of it. And we can, you know, just vibe on out to it. Check it out. But they used it to master others. That's what Kukulkan did. Quetzalcoatl was the original and Kukulkan was the replacement. Okay? So Kukulkan, in the cult of Kukulkan, sacrificed through hanging. And when Albert Pike got these mysteries from, I believe, the tomb of Pakal, he continued the quest of what we would say is Bulel to begin to exterminate the serpent tribe or the hidden tribe or the lost tribe of Judah who had been predominantly in America in the first place, known as the tribes or the Native Americans, okay? So the Native Americans inside of the United States were there already. They were not bought there, okay? I got to show a little bit of imagery here. Give me one moment. represent the cult of thuggy in the cult of thuggy you don't take a bath it was a part of being able to consecrate yourself with what you would say is negative or unclean energies also known as the unclean dragon see there were different types of dragons there were water dragons fire dragons or different types of kundalini that kind of kundalini was based on the alchemical composition of the person Right? So your Kundalini, some people think that Kundalini is all the same thing, but no. Each alchemical vessel determines the quality and the constant of the Kundalini that is flowing through them. Okay? So I'm just I'm scrolling through some pictures here. Give me one quick second. So what I'm talking about here is I'm talking about in Amaraka, which you're calling North America now, in especially around the areas of California, around the areas of Michigan. You had tribes already of what you would say is Native Americans, but they were already initiated into what you would say is a brotherhood. And nowadays that brotherhood and sisterhood is deemed to be the Moorish brotherhood and sisterhood. Give me a quick moment. I'm still scrolling. This was still a while ago. Now, remember, we've talked about all this. So if, you've, if you're just jumping in and all of this is like, well, shoot, I mean, are you just coming up with this tonight? No, this was, I'm just refreshing everybody's memory. Remember, we have went over Cenophallus. These are images from things that we had already went over. We showed how somehow the Messiah himself was some hot type of dog because there wasn't only one Messiah. And we find that even the Antichrist actually was more of a Cenophallus or actually a dog face. And that the dog face men, which were hooded and shapeshifters, were known to be in the Vatican. The can in Vatican is the can of can, can which is Cain. Cain or can or the dogs. So these are the sons of Cain, right? Just like, again, we're just doing the, we're, we're doing a tour de France here. This is Khalifa or Kali. She's the goddess of California. That gold is a bean. These are the inhabitants of California. These are Native Americans, right? Before the Mongols enter the territories, which is happening over the process of hundreds of years. This is not, or thousands of years. Why we try to see life or history as episodic. It is not an episode. This was going on, and this is what is being blotted out. That's why I was saying there are those that are trying to blot out the memory. And if they blot out any of the races and the creeds, and even how they came to us, as you see here, for knowledge and advice about territories, we gave them places.
places to live and places to stay. We formed a brotherhood and a pact and a sisterhood. We married into each other's families only to later on become double-crossed. And this happens over and over and over again where we're not seeing the unity of the symbolism and how this belongs to all of us. But when one group tries to take this power and then tries to keep it from themselves, they, uh, can keep it from everyone else, they only serve to bar, it, bar themselves from it, exclude themselves from it, while not being able to inherit it themselves. And all while they'll be able to try to make mutations with themselves and to change themselves in the way in which they are, they will only continuously create more and more of a problem until they return to their original state. So do you see why they are also trying to return to the original state by ending it for everyone else when the original state was more of something like this, where you see the ancient ancestors and the same symbolism about Kundalini and serpents all replete within the history of humanity? And that there's a disconnect or a lost tribe because humans don't realize how they climbed out of the water and into life on the physical plane. How they don't understand how the queen of heaven, that heaven is none other than the ocean, that that Ashtar, Ashtara. He dives deep into the, um, just what's going on now and just connecting the dots. And um, to put that knowledge in the real time. So that's why I played the majority of the clip because he dives deep and um, he's a master teacher. I'm a, a master student, not to even, um, just to know my place so I can understand where I need to be so I can get the information and get it out to y'all. And shout out to the ones that's, real, um, that's really, really doing this, man, on a daily basis. Once again, this is Seven Grams with Soul Talk. Shout out to Seven Beaumont. I hope you don't mind me using your club. I'm just trying to spread the word. You can subscribe if you like. If not, you can put me in no mind like a dick to a dyke. I'm out. Still we rise.